Angel here. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be talking about something that I get questioned about all the time. And that is, I okay, so let me read you guys the question. The question is, how to kick your fears and actually do your first YouTube video or podcast as a life coach? That's question number one how to think of your first topic or how to introduce yourself to the world and explain why they should listen. Now I'm going to have to do two videos in order to answer uh, the question about how to uh, think of your first topic. I will tackle that a little bit in this video, but I think um, creating topics needs a whole nother video. So I'll do another video on that. But to your first question, how to kick your fears and actually do your first YouTube video or your podcast as a life coach. And my answer is simply this. You just sit in front of the camera and be willing to look like an amateur. Be willing to look like you don't know what you're doing. Be willing to fumble a little bit. Be willing to not look at the lens and look at yourself while you're recording. Like be willing to make all those little amateur mistakes that over time you will perfect. I cannot express that enough. If you guys, which I don't invite you guys to, but you can if you want. Look at some of my previous videos. I believe myself I've gotten so much better in producing my videos because I kept doing them. Now, as far as your, your confidence, excuse me. Ooh. Excuse me, y'all. As far as building your confidence and getting over your fear of doing a video, let me say this. Number one, when you are on camera, I'm going to say about probably 70% of the people that are watching you are looking at you in admiration. Like, oh my God, like I, she's so confident. She actually is on YouTube or she's actually doing this podcast or she's actually public speaking. One of the fears of most people is public speaking next to dying. So if you're the one who has the courage enough to put yourself out there on video, more people are going to look up to you than they are going to criticize you. So that's the first thing to think about. And the other thing that I wanted to share, I actually brought a prop. And this prop is one of my favorite scarves. This scarf is like so ridiculously long, like it's taller than my husband and I love it so much. And the point of it in this video, I'm going to actually put it on because confidence is just like this. You have to put it on. You just sometimes have to just put on confidence even while you are still fearful of what it is that you're about to do. And as you put your confidence on, as long you, when you wear it long enough, eventually you won't have to put it on. It will just appear. It will just be. It will just exude. But in the beginning, you sometimes you just have to put it on. Just like I put this scarf on. Sometimes you, before you hit that record button, you literally have to, before I hit the record, I literally have to, boop, put on the confidence. Now this was me in the beginning. I wasn't too confident in doing, well I'm not going to say that I wasn't too confident in doing my videos because I believe that since I was like a little girl, I've had this kind of, I don't care what other people think about me because I realized that this was in the ninth grade, my first year in the ninth grade. You guys know I, I, I visited the ninth grade three times and my first year in ninth grade, because of the way that I dress, I dress very promiscuous. My first year in ninth grade, I was still a virgin. But because of the way that I presented myself, people didn't think that. And so, I mean, I there were rumors going around the school that I was screwing this person and screwing that person. And at the time, I was not. Now, later on, that did come to be a, a reality for me. But in my first year in high school, there were so many things that were going around about me that wasn't true. And I realized in that moment that it doesn't matter what information people have about you. It doesn't matter as long as you know the truth. 
then you can proudly and boldly and confidently and unapologetically move on with your life because I wasn't doing any of those things at the time when people were talking about it but they were still believing in it and there was nothing that I could do. And so sometimes that's what confidence is. It's just putting it on until you no longer have to think about it. And then it actually is just a, it's just a part of who you are. So you have to be willing to do the first video and be willing to look like an amateur. However, I don't even believe that you have to look so much like an amateur or so much in your beginning stages and and number let me say this who cares if you do it doesn't freaking matter dude like think about the reality that like one day you're gonna die one day I'm gonna die and before I take my last breath I do not believe that I'm gonna be thinking I'm so glad I never stepped out and shared my gifts with the world or I'm so glad I never recorded that video or I'm so glad I never posted that post on Instagram like I don't believe that that's going to be my final thought. So just think about your mortality for a minute. Like, are you, is it in the, in the grand scheme of things, is it really that fearful? Is it really that big of a deal to upload your first YouTube video or your first podcast? I don't think so. And I want to also share this, especially in today's world. And I have never been the type of person to talk about um, the color of someone's skin because growing up in my household like color never was mentioned and we were like the minorities in our school and in the apartment complex that we grew up in but in my house my mother never talked about those white people or those black people or those Jewish people or those Indian people I never heard that and even growing up I was actually um, ridiculed because I dated outside of my race but I never saw a white person being a bad thing or, or a black, black person being a bad thing or an Indian person being a, a bad thing. It wasn't until in these recent years that I've really been paying attention to the different cultures and the different races and, and what they really mean to each individual person. And as you, uh, I'm speaking directly to the, to the beautiful, let me just say the beautiful freaking drop dead gorgeous woman who, a, who asked me this question, you as a brown woman, I believe that it is so important for you to do whatever it is that you're called to do now more than ever because there are so many brown girls that don't value themselves and don't feel beautiful and don't feel like they can fit in into this world. And so I believe that it's so important. Like I, I just think about like if Rosa Parks or if Harriet Tubman had a, a camera, like what would they have said through that channel of communication? Would they have been fearful to use that in that moment? Like we have such an opportunity today as brown people to stand up for what we believe in and to be ourselves unapologetically, man. The older I get, the more that I see um, the need for people like my pastor, Pastor Jamal Harrison Bryan, who I love so, so, so much. He speaks directly to the black culture and not that he doesn't like any other cultures, but me as a grow, growing woman and a woman who's getting older and just really paying attention to things, I realize that because brown people have been beat up for so long that unfortunately black people have believed these things about themselves and so we act accordingly and you as a brown woman you have an opportunity to change that to be another voice another beautiful gorgeous smart intelligent voice to come to the marketplace and let other brown girls know that they matter and that they're beautiful and that they have a place in this world and so I just beg of you to get over your sweet little beautiful self hit the record button start recording your podcast and get your message out there and as far as how do you let people know um, who you are and why they should listen to you I don't even have like an introductory video on my YouTube so this is literally me preaching to the choir um, I never recorded a get to know or no I did record a get to know me video but I never recorded like a um, 
a uh, video on who I was and why people should listen to me. I started YouTube just making jewelry and, and doing some little motivational uh, videos every now and again. Um, so I never like went back to do a brand new video of who Hang on guys, I got a UPS shipment coming right now. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Um, but I just got some more orders, I mean some more um, products in the, uh, from the UPS. I love when the UPS comes, it's like Christmas. Anyway, so what I was saying was, let me get my thoughts back. What was I saying? Oh, about your introductory video. I would suggest just telling your story, who you are and what it is that people can expect from your channel when they visit your channel um, each time that you upload a video. So just tell people who you are and what it is that they can expect from your videos and also look at some other introductory videos here on YouTube and just mock them, see what they, how they presented themselves, what specifics that they told their audience and just model after that. We do not have to reinvent the wheel guys. Um, not to encourage to copy off of anyone. However, you want to model model people that have gone before you. That's very. That's just wisdom. That's just wise to not reinvent the wheel and to um, model what other successful people are doing. So beautiful. I really hope that this video has helped you and has served you in a way that you can take something from it and go do something with the information that you just got. And stick around, I'm gonna come back and do another video on how to come up with your topics as a life coach here on YouTube and if you guys uh, choose to do podcasts as well. I love each and every one of you guys from the bottom to the top and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you coaches have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer them. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.